how hot were you this past summer? And how will you manage if it gets even hotter? That's one of the concerns about the impact of climate change in Jamaica, the Caribbean, and all around the world. But the threat of climate change and what's being called climate departure is facing residents of Kingston, Jamaica, right now. What does that mean? Stay tuned and welcome to Hotter Than Hot, Climate Departure in Kingston. I'm Dion Jackson Miller. Really hot, really, really terrible. Why may I tell you lie, I don't know how the time hot so. Wicked man, eat wicked. I am very hot. Roger Jonas is a grade six student at Jesse Ripoll Primary School in Kingston. Even though the fans were, you know, right above us, they weren't cooling us at all. The heat was just taking over. Louise Ellis, known as Bev, has been selling on the streets of Kingston for about 40 years. It's terrible eat hot like we did. You know if you ever leave it out. And Kevin Smith is a taxi driver I met downtown Kingston buying a coconut to quench his thirst. I taxi my drive when I go home, just me exhausted. Beer water, it, 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 it take me like a tall bottle of water, like three for the day. They're all complaining about the heat. They're not alone. In the summer of 2023, there were complaints all around the world. In July. In Spain, the unrelenting heat is ringing alarm bells after a satellite image revealed that land temperatures in some regions hit 60 degrees Celsius. The World Meteorological Organization said the world had the hottest week on record in July. It followed the hottest June on record. The misery continued in August. A heat wave that's making Italy's northern city of Milan produce the hottest day in 260 years this week. Yesterday alone, there were 146 record temperatures in France. It's not just the northern hemisphere that's feeling the heat. Parts of South America are sweltering under temperatures approaching 40 degrees Celsius in winter. There's even likelihood that uh, this year, the whole year, may be the warmest year on record. According to scientists at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, the average global temperature on Earth has increased by at least 1.1 degrees Celsius since 1880. Evan Thompson is the head of Jamaica's National Meteorological Division. Even in Jamaica, we are seeing where there is some change that is occurring. The temperature change might not be as significant as elsewhere, nearer to the polar regions, but we are seeing where the temperatures are actually higher than we would normally experience. Professor Tanisha Stevenson is co-director of the Climate Studies Group at the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus. When we look at the trends that we have seen, and we have been seeing this for the Caribbean, we have done the analysis since 1960, we have seen that trending upwards of our temperatures, and the trends have been statistically significant. And globally, the increases we have seen, we have been able to attribute to climate change. In recent times, we've been seeing some extremes that we're not used to. August 3, 2017 was a record-breaking day in Kingston. The temperature hit 36.9 degrees Celsius for the first time. And then on June 22, 2019, Jamaica recorded its hottest day ever. Where we had 39.1 degrees recorded in one area. And the, the temperatures around that didn't depart too far from that temperature. Dr. David Smith is coordinator of the Institute of Sustainable Development at the University of the West Indies Mona campus. It's worrying because temperatures like that, they keep saying that you know when you're getting up into the 40s and so on, then you're talking about real problems if you're outdoors. When we had that, that particular record, the 39.1, I mean, what was your reaction as a meteorologist? Well, first of all, we wondered whether our temperature recording instruments were actually working well. But when we checked back everything, it seemed that everything was in place everything was being managed well, the instruments were in well working condition. Afterwards, we were able to 
um, verify that the temperatures that were being detected by those thermometers were accurate. So we, we, it was really startling to us to re realize that we've really been experiencing that. I mean, we always hear from our residents that it's hotter this year than it has ever been. We hear it all the time, even when it is not as hot. So, you know, we, we take it with a grain of salt until we check the, the, the actual instrumentation. First time the nights used to be cooler. How you find the nights? Hot. More more sticker. Uh, hot. All if you have on the phone, come like if you do uh, uh, nothing. Hot. Night them hot, brother. Just like the day. The data is showing us that we're having hotter days, but we're also having warmer nights. So the nights where we would expect to really be re re releasing some of that energy and experiencing some cooler temperatures, we're going through nights where we have to keep windows open and, and, and just to allow ourselves to get some respite from these high temperatures. The state of the Jamaican climate report says that for the period 1900 to 2019, that's 120 years. Minimum temperatures increased at a faster rate than maximum temperatures. In other words, nighttime temperatures are warming faster than daytime temperatures. We're breaking the records that we have previously noted. Um, and this has been happening except for 2018. So every year outside of 2018 that we have looked at annual temperatures since 2014 has been higher than we have seen in previous years. Each of them have been in the top 10. Professor Michael Taylor is co-director of the Climate Studies Group at the University of the West Indies Mona campus. So you'll always see fluctuations, but it's just a steady upward rise in temperature. The Jamaican Climate Report shows temperature rising as a steadily increasing trend from the mid-20th century through to the present. The estimated increase is about 0.1 degrees Celsius per decade, or approximately 1 degree Celsius over the last century. The increases in temperature don't sound like much, and yet we're sweltering. So my time me will rush because the heat really terrible. Right now, my day used to be a sweat, me a sweat. Dwayne Brown has been selling on the streets for about eight years. He says he has no choice but to go out into the heat. I just put, put, put food on the table, so we have to do it, I understand. Those temperature increases sound very small though. Why are we feeling it so much? We tend to have high humidity in our region. And so the impact of the increase in temperatures is important for us. We're going to feel it more. It's other than normal heat. It's not heat, I don't know how. It's not heat, man. It's not something else I'm putting at it. That is sky, brother. We have been able to attribute it at about medium confidence to say what we're doing with respect to deforestation. We're cutting down our trees. We're burning more coal and gas. We're, we're traveling more. So again, the transportation sector, all of these are activities that put more gases in the atmosphere that trap the heat that's trying to leave. The result, we get warmer. And the experts predict it will get even warmer. The 2023 report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says continued greenhouse gas emissions will lead to increasing global warming. And heat waves and drought are projected to become more frequent. What we are expecting is that as we move forward, we're going to continue to see an increase as long as we continue to create the kind of atmosphere that will enable that global warming to continue. When we look at climate models, some of the things that emerge for us is for Jamaica, we anticipate for some scenarios, worst case, about three to four degrees warmer by the end of century than we have already experienced. By the 2030s, about 0.8 degrees Celsius warmer. The projections concern a lot of people. If I could get across the message that we live climate every single day, and the fact that we're moving into an unprecedented era um, worries me, frightens me. Eleanor Terrellong is executive director of the Jamaica Climate Change Youth Council. I think fear is one of the, the most powerful emotions, at least for me, just being afraid of not knowing um, what the future is going to be like. Diana McCauley, founder of the Jamaica Environment Trust. I bounce between rage, um, anger, despair, and determination to, 
to do what I can. First, tell me why rage? Because I think this has been known for a very long time and we have refused to act. I think there's also a bit of frustration because sometimes, especially those of us involved in advocacy and activism, you know, we feel like we're talking but no one is listening to us. So it gets a bit frustrating sometimes, it, you know, it sounds like we're talking to a wall or we're screaming into an empty room. I don't think we should be scared. I think that we should be terrified of this. That's Professor Camila Moro from the University of Hawaii. In 2013, he led a team that predicted something called climate departure. And basically climate departure are these new conditions that are beyond those levels that we have seen before. So what we are talking about is here quantifying the year after which we are gonna be seeing temperatures that we had never seen before. The report was picked up all over the world. And the reason why it was so significant is because now we were able to put a date when we talk about climate change, when are we talking about? Is it going to change tomorrow, in a hundred years, in a thousand years? So basically what we try to do is, given the mission of greenhouse gases, identify that year right now. The report had special significance for Kingston, Jamaica. It predicted that Kingston would be the second city in the world to experience climate departure in 2023. The projection was um, based on your study that the Earth as a whole would pass climate departure in 2047, correct? That is correct. So that means that after 2047, the, the hottest temperature we had experienced would then be the norm, is that correct? That's correct. I mean, I get the goosebumps of just thinking about that, but yeah, that is pretty much what it is. Kingston always been at it. You know, I live in the centre, Master. As soon as I reach like 11 miles ago, you can feel the difference in our climate. So Kingston always that. Kingston are over, man. Hell's Kitchen. Feeling hot, hot.